I have this faucet that's in perfect working condition with no leaks, but the rubber cover on the sprayer wore out and tore off. And when I looked for a replacement for this Price Fister faucet, I learned that this old model got discontinued and replacement parts are not available. But I noticed that Amazon was selling similar replacement sprayers for under $20. There's a bunch to choose from, but the information on the product listing page is often limited and makes it hard to figure out which ones would work out. It's trial and error sometimes, and I order three of them to see which would work out for me, if any. First, you need to take off the old sprayer, and that's very simple to do. You don't need any tools, just turn the sprayer counterclockwise to unscrew it from the hose. For some faucets, that's all you need to do. For this faucet, I needed to pull out the hose head which was inserted into the sprayer. If the hose on your faucet looks like this and the hose head does not get inserted into the neck of the sprayer, then stay tuned because I'll be sharing an important tip for those types of faucets later. On the left is the Drudy brand sprayer and on the right is a brand whose name I don't know how to pronounce. The finish on the Drudy brand doesn't look like the finish on the chrome sprayer on the right. The best way I would describe the finish on the Drudy sprayer is brushed chrome. It's chrome finish that's been lightly sanded so it will not match a chrome faucet. Then I realized that the listing title says Brush Nickel, but I didn't notice that when I bought it because I was just paying attention to the product photos that made it look like chrome to me. This is the sprayer next to my Brush Nickel kitchen faucet, and the finish still doesn't look right. It's lacquered and too glossy to be Brush Nickel. This will not work for chrome faucets nor Brush Nickel faucets, so I can't recommend it. Now this is the Hibent brand sprayer on the left and on the right is the sprayer whose brand name I can't pronounce. They look very similar and both look very nice. The Hibent sprayer is a bit heavier so it feels like it might be more solidly built. My faucet has the head of the hose going into the sprayer and it fits in there with a tight seal because of this black rubber o-ring. This is the Hibbent brand sprayer and the fit feels a little loose compared to the original sprayer. Again this is the original and the seal is much tighter. With this other brand faucet, the hose head won't even fit into the sprayer because the opening is slightly too small. The outer diameter is the same for these two sprayers. They're both 13 16th of an inch or 0.8 inch, but the inside diameter is slightly different. I'm a little concerned that the o-ring didn't make a tight seal inside the Hibbent sprayer, but I'm hoping for the best. Ooh. It's leaking. But that's okay because there are solutions for this. The best solution is for you to take off this o-ring, take it with you to the store, and get a replacement o-ring that is the same diameter but is thicker. Since I don't have time to go to the hardware store, I have to make do with this rubber gasket that I happen to have around, even though its outer diameter is bigger than 0.8 inch. This gasket will help seal the contact point between the sprayer and the hose head, not from inside the sprayer neck, but at the bottom of the threaded part of the sprayer. It's kind of difficult to screw in the sprayer because the gasket is too big.
There's a small gap where the sprayer meets the faucet net, but it's not too noticeable. And the leak's gone. The button is working well and still no leak. My hand is not feeling any wetness. Now, if your faucet hose looks like this and doesn't require the hose head to be inserted into the sprayer, then either the Hibbent or the other sprayer will work. And I'll put Amazon links to both sprayers in the description box below. Here's a very important tip though. Chances are you may see a leak after installing these Amazon replacement sprayers because the threaded part of the sprayer may be slightly shorter than that of the original sprayer. If you encounter a leak, then here's what you need to do. In addition to the gasket that comes with the sprayer, this one came with the Hibbent sprayer and this one came with the other sprayer and they're both 0.8 inch in diameter. You need to either buy another 0.8 inch gasket or reuse the gasket that came with the original sprayer so that you are using two gaskets. This way you can be assured that there will be no leak.